It is the last game of 2022 and we got 10 bouts to go through. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We take it first to Omsk where Avangard to battle with Salavat Yulaev at G-Drive Arena. Third meeting of the month between the two. The versus get off to a hot start. Rookie Alexander Kulevsky opens up the score in just in a 4 minutes in. And a little after that, Stefan Sanikov stays on the ice for the double shift, finds the loose puck in front of the net and doubles the lead for Salavad. Second period now, Reid Bouchette gets to the net all by himself, tries to beat Andre Correa 5 hole no dice. The Hawks get a goal back meter for the period. Kitty Mihailov skates down the ice on the outside, feeds it to the spot and Petr Malikin finishes the job. The data before the period expires. Former Moncton Wildcat Vladit Kachov scores his 13th goal of the season. Regulation and overtime solve nothing, so it goes to the shootout, and Vladit Kachov is the hero for Avant Garde along with Andrei Mishurov, who makes four saves in a row. The Hawks beat Salavat for the second time in the past three games. 3 2 is your final and off tonight. We're off the chair for Vets now with Serverstal. Welcome, Torpedo. The host steal down their special jerseys and they get one over the line early. Not gonna count though. The ref rule at a high stick with steel scoreless. No matter, Serverstal get one that counts late in the period. Igor Guraskin converts to the power play. The Bucks sitting it up early in the second. Rookie and Minnesota well prospect Vladislav first of gems home the rebound. Serverstal regained the lead five minutes later. Andre Churkin shoves it past Ivan Kulbakov for his first career KHL goal. A little after that, the house go on a power play and Kirill Pilipanko smashes it into the back of the net with a huge one-timer. That's a power play goal and Serverstal lead 3-1 after 40. Third period now, Firstov goes for a quick shot. Dmitry Shugayev has a piece of it and then Daniil Pilipanov clears it from the blue paint. Torpedo give themselves a slim chance to force overtime with a goal late in regulation. Sergei Kachuru converts on a power play with just 33 seconds remaining on the clock, but that's all they can do. Sarasal beat Torpedo for the first time this season, but they have points in all three bouts against New Zealand. 3 2 is your final on this one. It wouldn't be holiday season without a couple of bomb burners now, would it? Let's head to Valshika where Vitas take on the top team of the league table, SK St. Petersburg. The Bears to strike first. Igor Ajiganov wires it home with a great slap shot from the point. Andre Pidana Marat Kusnadinov with the assists. Vitas find an answer in the dying seconds of the period. Stepan Starkov is hungry on Bucks. He puts on a nice move and scores an absolute beauty. 1 1 after 20. Vita scored two more, muted through the second. Alexander Yeremchuk receives a long pass from Dmitry Kugrushev and converts on a breakaway. And less than two minutes later, Tyler Grobuck improves the lead to 3 1. Scott Wilson with the primary helper. SKA swap for the Polsky for 18 year old rookie Sergei Ivanov up to that, but he's gonna stay in goal for less than six minutes. Stepan Starkov scores his second of the game and 13th of the season, and that's just one of the two shots Ivanov is gonna face. St. Petersburg get a late power play and risk it with the extra skater. It works at first. Dmitry Yashkin stops the net just a moment after Vitas go back to playing full strength. SKA steal on a power play and they leave the extra skater out for unclear reason and Alexei Volgin scores on the empty net. That gives Vitas a 5-2 lead heading into the third. SKA put Podjepolski back in net and turn up the hit. Marat Kairolin sends it home from the hash marks to make it 5-3. A few shifts later, Mikhail Vorobyov scores on the rebound to bring the differential back to 1. It's 5-4 now. And shortly after that, Captain Dmitry Yashkin nets his second of the night and 26 of the year to tie it up at 5s. This one is completely off the rails. He goes to overtime, Alexander Yermchuk sends Vladimir Galuzin in on a break and he delivers. 
Vitez give up a three goal lead in the third, but still shocks St. Petersburg on home ice. 6 5 is your final. How about another goal frenzy? This is Minsk Belarus and tonight Dynamo go up against Spartak Moscow. There's no scoring in the first but they sure make up for it in the following 40 minutes of play. Nikita Zorkin puts Dynamo in the lead with his first goal and his first game for Minsk. The red and white bring it back to even just over a minute later. Andre Lektionov fills the lane, gets the feed from Alex Kokochev and scores his seventh of the season. Dynamo regained the lead shortly after that as another defenseman finds the back of the net. John Dushek beats Patrick Rieber on the short side. Spartak giving it up again with a power play goal. Coco sends it home from the left circle and it's a 2 2 tie after two periods of play. We're early in the third now. Dynamo with a man advantage this time around. Ryan Spooner finds Brandon Cozen in open nice and former Canadian World Junior slings it past Rieber to make it 3 2. Two minutes later, Roman Gurbanov hits the target from essentially the same spot and that gives Dynamo some much-needed cushion. But then Spartak rallied back with three tallies in a row. Kokochev scores his second of the night and 14th of the season. A minute after that, Matvey Zaseda sends it past Konstantin Shostak on the glove side. He's got 10 on the year now. And then Moscow can vote on yet another man advantage. Excellent passing play and Roman Starchenko finishes it off. But Dynamo force overtime as they find the equalizer just 40 seconds later. Dmitry Sokolov with the marker. Extra period brings no clarity. The game goes to the shootout and former Dynamo forward Shane Prince scores the winner for Spartak. Seesaw action and mix tonight and it's the red and white who come out on top. 6-5 is your final. We drop anchor in case and now where Akbar's take on their Tatarstan rivals Nefta Kimek. The Cats opened up the score in 8 minutes into the game. Artem Galimov catches Andrei Tikhamirov too deep in the paint and beats him from a tough angle. The Wolves tie it up a minute later. 2011 World Junior champ Maxim Berezin scores his second short head and goal of the season. Akbar's get back in front, meter through the second. Nikita Dinak beats Tikhamira from the rebound to make it 2 1. That's pretty much all they're gonna need, but just to be sure, Dinak scores his second of the game and eighth of the season on the empty net to seal the deal. Zinitolabi Lodinov has his first double, you have to get him back behind the bench. Nefti 1, Agobars 3. We'll make our way to Moscow now, where the Fanny Champs Red Army meet their old coach Igor Nikitin and Lokomotiv. It turns out to be a low scoring affair, just as expected. We pick it up from the second, the host on a power play. Christian Yarosh goes for a hard shot, and Daniil Isayev stops it with his mask. That's gonna ring for a while. Red Army throw one pass to Saif early in the third. Konstantin Akulov beats him on the glove side for his third goal in two games. Loco get back even 10 minutes later. Stepan Nikulin that's his tenth of the season as he slings it between the wickets of Adam Raderborn. He goes to overtime. Red Army pull Raderborn for the extra skater, which is their go to move, and it works for them. Vladimir Brookman taps it home at the far post and Moscow tie the season series against Loco at Tease as they take it 2-1 in the extra period. And there's just a few more scores left to tell you about. Gleb Karagin enjoyed his first career KHL hat-trick as a morbid admiral 5-3 on the road. Here be the top team of the East after Mabalist. No scoring through regulation and overtime. Nikita Shashkov with the shootout winner.
Proctor beat the arc rivals Metalurg for the second consecutive time this week, 5-2 is your final. Matej Kors scores his second goal for Sochi, but Nikita Boroyanov got a pair for Dynamo in Moscow prevailed 5-3 on the road. And that's it for LKHL update in 2022, but don't worry, we'll be back in a few days. My name is Andrea Sachenko, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us next year.